Hi YouTube and welcome to the first ever update video on this channel. Okay, there are three things that I want to talk about today. This fucking dick will not kill me. Okay. First thing I want to talk about is this new channel that my friend and I are thinking about. And in this new channel, we will make game commentaries. And it won't be just me and him, it will be a few other friends and I. And we're just going to hang out, play video games, you know, share some laughs with you guys. Because I like to have fun with my friends and play video games. And I got guy because you're fucking stupid. Okay, um, and then I will talk about rumors that people make. Hey, come on, bitch, you gotta help me with this. She's just standing there, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, okay, okay, alright, ladies first, I understand. Okay, oh, well, how did fat ass even fit through it? Then, after that, I'm gonna give you the full story on my leukemia, because a lot of people still don't believe that I have leukemia, and it is actually a true story, and I will be glad to share it to you. So, uh, let me just give this bitch a hand, and drop down the ladder, kick that shit down. She's trying to, what the f- Wow, good job. She broke the goddamn ladder because she's a fat fuck. <laughs> and I thought I was fat. What the f- She's trying to kill me now, huh? She heard me. Oh shit! What the f- No! So, you might see some more update videos in the future. Because I want to talk to you guys. Nobody reads my bulletins. And while I'm talking, you'll probably see me playing some stupid video game like this. Or like drawing a picture for you guys or something. I don't know. Depends what I feel like doing while I'm talking. Okay. So, let's talk about this new channel. <gasps> oh, right, the penis! Dude, this new channel is uh, my friend Deramix Productions and I. Uh, we've been talking about it for a while. Holy shit. We've been talking about it for a while. Don't worry, I'll still make Gmod videos. I just want to, uh, I just want more things to do, you know? Like, besides making Gmods and, uh, you know, videos in general on this, on this channel. Oh, ow! Yeah, I know some of you are just like, Oh, are you just gonna copy off uh, Game Grumps? You're not gonna stop making videos like Ego Raptor? Well, actually, truth is, it's easier to make a game commentary than it is to make a video. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making videos in general. I'm just saying, you know, you know, why not? For some reason, a lot of people who do game commentaries get like a thousand, get like a billion subscribers for no reason. I don't know why. You, you just watch people play video games and talk. So, I'm not saying that I want a billion, a billion subscribers, I'm just, you know, I'm just doing other things, you know, I can't, I'm not a fucking robot who makes videos all day, every day, so, you know, one more things to do, and I want to include you guys, so, if that's a problem, you, uh, there's the door. I lost two, two kills in three deaths. Okay, that covers, uh, part one of the video. Okay, part two would be the rumors. Why do people do this? I thought drama was only in high school. Guess not. Everywhere, people are stupid. Okay. Okay, the first rumor I want to uh, resolve. Just recently, I got a few messages from two different people calling me a homophobe. Um, okay. Well, first off, I'm not a homophobe, okay? Um, and there's a story behind that because uh, this one guy on Face Punch was um was saying like oh yeah once I uh once I got out of the closet Elliot started to treat me like shit because he used to be a friend of mine on Steam and okay the truth was I, I was kind of a dick back then okay and I kind of was you know a little homophobish I guess but that was like um I don't know three four years ago ha <laughs> he just jumped off what a fucking idiot yeah I kind of was a dick and I have to admit that. So recently, I actually contacted the guy, and I said, Hey, look, I'm sorry, dude, okay? I was, I mean, I was a douchebag back then, alright? So, and, he, and he's, and even he said, he said, Hey, it's okay, it happened, like, a long time ago. So I was like, okay. So yeah, even, even he didn't even care about it, so I don't know why, uh, people are spreading shit. So, I'm not a homophobe, and I know there's a lot of, like, gay jokes in my videos, like, calling people fagolas and, like, the gay stuff. Yeah, they were... That's that's the point. They're jokes. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm a homophobe. Uh, so this guy is just a jackass. On that note, there are two other rumors I want to talk about, and I will talk to you 
Till I kill this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Second rumor is a very touchy subject for a lot of people. For some reason, I have no idea. But it always comes up in the comments of my videos. And it has to do with furries. Okay? And for those of you who have a life and don't know what furries are, don't know what a furry is, it is somebody who likes uh, anthropomorphic animals. And anthropomorphic means having, you know, human abilities like walking, talking, shitting, farting, fucking, you know, you know, all that stuff. And people think I'm one of those people because I draw them. Ones I draw are kind of different from the furry things that, you know, actual furries are into, because, you know, I watched a lot of Looney Tunes and Red and Stimpy when I was a kid, and, you know, those are the kind of animals that I like, because, they, no, they're actually funny, other than the furry things that just stare at you seductively, and I'm not a part of that stuff anymore, and I kind of grew out of it, so, I'm not a huge fan of the fandom, a lot of people I don't like are in it, and... I'm not saying I hate all of them. I mean, I have a few best friends, like I said about, you know, gays. I have a few real-life furry friends, and they're they're really good people, and they're really good friends. So, it doesn't matter what you're into, as long as you could be, you know, a good person. So, I don't I don't care if you're a weeaboo or, you know, into bronies. You know, at, le at least, as long as you're cool in my book, then, and, okay, and you're cool. Yeah, I still draw cartoon animals. Doesn't mean I want to be one. Doesn't mean I want to, you know. Doesn't mean I have sexual attentions for foxes or <laughs> whatever weird shit you people think of. So that's that rumor covered. What the fuck are you? <laughs> you little dick. Okay. And the last rumor I want to talk about is what are my opinions on bronies? Okay, it's another sensitive topic. Like you, you met you even like. I put a freaking brony in Team Fabulous 2 and people are like ecstatic over it. Like, oh my god, they put, they put one! Oh my god! I'm so special! I put one in there because I wanted to kind of make fun, you know. I want to kind of poke fun at the whole brony thing. I'm not a brony, and I don't hate bronies. I just don't care about it. That's, that's my main, that's the main point I'm trying to get across here. So, those are a few things that people have been saying. And I just kind of wanted to clear them up. Okay, and the last thing. What a dick! Hmm, Lab Map 5 or Lab Map 5. I'm gonna pick this one. The last thing I wanna talk about is how I got diagnosed with leukemia. I know people are saying, you know, oh, he's just doing it for views, just subscribers. You know, to tell you the truth, I really wish I was. But as of May 9th of this year, I was diagnosed with ALL leukemia, you know, the same one that. Ed Gold had when he passed, and, you know, it's, it's, it's really scary, it scared, scared the shit out of me and all my friends and family, and, you know, I just got so much support uh, over the past few months about it. I'm just gonna tell you how the whole thing actually started. Um, alright, it started out as like a minor stomach problem, I would say, like I wasn't really eating much, and some... Um, my friends and my family took notice, and they're, they were curious as to what it was, and so was I, but I thought that it would, you know, it would blow over, it was just something stupid, but, you know, it didn't, did not blow over, it actually got worse, and I missed a few days from school, and then, what the? I went th back to school because I wanted to make up some work, and, um, I put my head down because my stomach was just killing me. God, it hurt so bad. And my teacher noticed, and you know, he tried talking to me. He's like, hey, what's wrong? And I said, I don't know, my stomach just hurts. And he's like, okay, I'll, you know, you can put your head down and I'll call the nurse down. So then the nurse came down and she brought me to her office and she, uh, she checked me out. And it turned out that I actually had a fever. And I, it didn't feel like I had a fever, but yeah, I had a fever. So, um, my mom was worried about it, so I had to call her, and she brought me down to the emergency room where they ran some tests on me, did some blood work, and, uh, they said, okay, well, if anything weird comes up, we'll let you know, so I got sent back home, and before I knew it, like, five minutes after I got home, 
they said, uh, you might want to come back. Something came up. So, I came back. And it turns out my white blood cell count was actually skyrocketing. It was at, uh, oh my god, I, I forgot how high it was, but it was, like, off the charts, the doctor said. And, um, they said, alright, we need to give this kid some chemotherapy as soon as possible. So, at that time, I was actually feeling dazed because if your white blood cell counts are higher than your red blood cell counts, you're not getting enough oxygen, and your immune system is completely out of shape. And I was just staring at the ceiling. I was like, "Wow, what if what if this is the last thing I ever see? Like, what if what if I don't make it out of this?" And it was it was scary. It was, you know, I was thinking about you know what I lose, my friends, family, you know, you guys especially. Um. And so, so they're giving me a chemo and then uh, put me on an ambulance and they drove me to the hospital, which was like an hour and a half away. And I stayed in the hospital for about two weeks, you know, surviving off. What was this? What is these kids saying? What a fucking idiot. Oh, no, no, you little asshole. You know, during that time at the hospital, <laughs> I was still coming up with ideas for videos, you know, I was still, you know, keep in touch with all my friends. I was still getting a lot of support. And, um, you know, during that time, I was actually, you know, I was thinking about, wow, before all, before leukemia, I was, you know, I, I thought so negatively about everything, you know? And, um, you know, God, God I, I changed so much as a person when, after, after I went through this, and, um, I guess I got some good things out of it, and I got some bad things. You know, like, I'm still undergoing chemo. I still need to go back every every so often. And, um, you know, right now, they're sticking needles in me, like, every other day. Which sucks. And my legs feel like jelly right now. But, um, you know, still hanging in there. Keeping positive, you know, that's that's what matters. You know, you, you, can't, you can't feel sad all the time about it, because, you know, it's gonna suck. And I gotta make the best of it. So, I thank everybody who's been supporting me and, you know, telling me, get better soon. <laughs> I wish that was the case, but I'm gonna be on chemo for, like, probably three years. So, um, you know, my cousin actually had the same leukemia, and he's in his 20s right now, and he's doing great. So, um, you know, glad I made it through this. Hopefully I made it through the worst already. And, uh, hope I don't relapse after all my chemo. Anyway, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Covered new channel that's upcoming. Can't wait to start it. And um, I'm actually thinking about doing a partnership soon. Yeah, how would you like that, you motherfucker? I oh you no the treasure. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you know, if you're ever curious about like leukemia or rumors or anything, anything really, just throw me a message. I read all my personal messages, but I don't reply to all of them. You know, kind of like Gabe Noel. Um, let's see what treasure this is. It's a blue doggy. So I just wanted to, you know, make a little quick update video and inform you guys on what's been going on. Right now, the videos I'm working on are this new little mini series I'm making in GTA 4 right now, and it's coming out really good. And I'm really proud of it, and hope to give it to you guys before Christmas. But <laughs> never say that because something always, something stupid always happens, or I just, you know, procrastinate or do other things. But um, it's gonna come out eventually. And I have a, a whole script written out for it. I have a bunch of good ideas for it, and you guys are gonna like it. I think it's um, it's kind of like the salesman ultimatum. A lot of people like that, but it's gonna have actual dialogue, and it's gonna have characters, and it's gonna be really good. So I hope you guys enjoy it when I finally release it. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, moments of heavy. I have one plan that I might that, I, that I'm actually gonna make in Source Filmmaker, and it, in between that. And the GTA video, I might make another cooking video or just another Gmod video with uh, with Heavy. Um, I got some ideas maybe for another Elliot, but that's not going to be for a while because those take a while to make. And I need to get all the actors together and voice act, and I gotta make the skins. What's up, dude? Hey, give me some skin. Hey, hey! What a dick.